get up, go to class, lunch, um, usually have something to do at night. Most well, interesting people I've met have a definite upbeat attitude on life that you just really don't see and is actually kind of surprising sometimes. As like much fun and like stupid stuff goes on at like the like other dorms, it's the same way here. Like people are up at 3 a.m. like having a dance party in the computer lab. They had all the lights off. Somebody had like for some reason had a flashlight attached to their chair and like they had it set on like strobe and so like people were just like dancing in the computer lab at like 3 a.m. Um, and just like all the random stuff that happens in regular dorms still happens here. I'm a cat person so I have three cats at home and a dog. My brother and my mom and dad are at home so a lot of the time when I have free time, I'm on the webcam with them because I'm out of state. And I get, yes, I talk to my cats. Watch TV, play video games, watch sports. I don't like writing papers. <laughs> yeah, and you all that are watching this are probably laughing at me right now. I, I like to play video games, but I never finish them because I never have time to actually <laughs> play them. It's really pathetic. Um, I do like to read. I'm all a little bit with uh, focus. Scholarship of Catholic University students of uh, Jordan and Paul. Not really any different than being with anybody else. You know, it's just like having another group of friends that you just happen to work for and with sometimes. I don't know. I don't do too much different with them than I do with anybody else. And say you're at a restaurant or a bar or whatever, and you start asking them what they want, they'll look at you and be like, what do they want? How am I supposed to know? They're their own person, you know, they're not, you know, they're disabled, not dumb. Sometimes we go to bars, other times restaurants. Yeah, we go out at least, I go out at least once a week. I like going on the iced teas, especially at the Canopy Club. Hurricane, uh, look at those at Joe's. The people coming in trying to be quiet and they get the same you know, others coming in, not really caring, just being completely, utterly obnoxious. I remember one time Hugo had hit something with his chair, and one of his uh, one of his wheels was busted on the back, and it was making so much noise. I'm pretty sure woke up everybody in the building. But of course, he didn't care. He had no idea what was going on. I mean, sometimes I come back at two thirty in the morning, yelling down the hallway, and he already has a me. Just because they're in the military, it's like they're completely normal people. You don't treat somebody different because they're black or because they're Mexican or whatever. You know, you don't try go out of your way to make yourself seem like you're not. You know, you don't try and make yourself seem not discriminatory. And it's pretty much the same thing here. You just gotta be normal, and they appreciate that.